was notified by phone of the verbal complaint by the town chief Mulek on the morning of December 4th, 2019. The town chief Mulek briefed me on the main points of the verbal report made by the employee. The town chief Mulek also advised me that he had requested that the employee put their concerns in writing. This request was done due to the length and number of concerns conveyed by the employee and to ensure that all concerns were addressed accordingly. I advised Battalion Chief Mielak to notify me when the employee had returned with the written concerns and advised Battalion Chief Mielak to discuss all the listed concerns with the employee. <coughs> Battalion Chief Mielak contacted me the afternoon of December 4th, 2019 and advised me that he had the document from the employee and they had gone over it with them. I immediately left my office at the township and went to the Eastwood Fire Station to meet with Battalion Chief Mulek. Battalion Chief Mulek provided me a copy of the document and we reviewed it in great detail together. A direction was developed to proceed based on my understanding of the applicable Township of Kalamazoo policies, procedures, and the Fire Department chain of command and standard operating guides in place at that time. I directed Battalion Chief Mulek that he was to interview the witnesses listed and any other employees that may have witnessed the incidents. I also advised Battalion Chief Mulek that this is our main priority, second to nothing other than responding to emergency calls for service. I directed Battalion Chief Mulek to conduct interviews and gather information in line with my directives. This method was consistent with my understanding of the chain of command. Battalion Chief Mulek was, directed, was directly responsible for supervising the conduct of the firefighters in Station 2 and ensuring it was within line with township policies and directives. While I ran the overall department consisting of four stations, I directed and supervised the investigation, but Battalion Chief Mulek served as the boots on the ground. At the conclusion, of Town Chief Mulek interviewing the witnesses and obtaining all information avail available at that time, Battalion Chief Mulek and I once again met to discuss the findings. Based on the information provided at that time by the witnesses and coworkers, the following actions were determined to be necessary. That the employee identified as the accused needed to be notified immediately in writing that his actions which had been reported and investigated, and any behavior like those allegations were completely unwelcome and needed to stop immediately. He was placed on notice of that fact. He was also disciplined and notified that he had been disciplined. The other action determined to be necessary was that the employee that made the complaint needed to be notified that the accused employee had been spoken to in great length about his reported behavior and that no future problems were expected and reminded her of the importance of prompt notification procedures should there be any future problems. These written documents were prepared and completed by, my, by myself and Battalion Chief Mulek and issued to the employees in accordance with our understanding of all Township of Kalamazoo and Fire Department policies, procedures, and standard operating guidelines and training provided by the Township of Kalamazoo at the time of the incidents and of our investigation. I personally gave the signed documents to the then executive assistant the week of December 9th, 2019 in a manila folder. I advised the executive secretary that these were personnel actions that needed to be filed in the personnel folders of the two employees. These actions were taken and concerns were addressed on December 5th, 2019, exactly three years ago today, three years ago. After these actions were taken, no further reports by the firefighter in question were ever brought to my attention during her tenure with the department.